Hi ladies and gentlemen, today we are going to go over subtracting mixed numbers and using borrowing to solve these problems. If you have a question with a particular problem, you can fast forward to that problem. You do not have to watch the whole video. That's up to you. So let's get started on question number one. It's 12 minus 3 and 1 third. So I'm going to regroup 12 into 11 and 3 thirds because 3 thirds is the same as one whole and we add those back together to make 12. All right, so we have 11 and 3 thirds. We're gonna take 3 and 1 third away. We're gonna go ahead and subtract the whole numbers. 11 minus 3 is 8, and 3 thirds minus 1 third is 2 thirds. So our solution is 8 and 2 thirds. Number two, 8 minus 4 and 3 fifths. Again, I'm gonna regroup 8 to be 7 and 5 fifths. Right? Again, I want to look at the denominator of the fraction that we are subtracting, and that's what we're going to make our one whole into here, 5 fifths. Okay, so now we can go ahead and subtract the whole numbers and then the fractions. Right? 7 minus 4 gives us 3, and 5 fifths minus 3 fifths is 2 fifths. So that's 3 and 2 fifths. Question number 3, 6 minus 5 eighths. I'm going to regroup that 6 to be 5 and 8 eighths. And we're going to go ahead and subtract the 5 eighths. Well, there's no whole numbers to subtract here. It's 5 minus 0, which is 5. And 8 eighths minus 5 eighths is 3 eighths. All right, question number 4. Now we're into subtracting our mixed numbers. We have 5 and a half minus 2 and 3 fifths. We're going to go ahead and find a common denominator. And I'll show it for the first one how to do that. We're going to multiply the two denominators together to make the least common denominator in this situation. That doesn't always work to find the least common denominator. So this is 5 and 5 tenths. And we're going to subtract 2 and 6 tenths. Well, we can't take 6 tenths away from 5 tenths. So I'm going to have to regroup that 5 into 4 and 10 tenths that we're going to end up adding to the 5 tenths that's already there. So 10 tenths plus 5 tenths would give us 4 and 15 tenths minus 2 and 6 tenths. I'm going to subtract the whole numbers. 4 minus 2 is 2, and 15 minus 6 is 9. So we have 2 and 9 tenths. All right, on to number 5. We have 9 and 2 thirds minus 4 and 7 eighths. Um, to find a common denominator again, I'm going to multiply the two denominators together. So 2 thirds times 8 eighths and 7 eighths times 3 over 3. So we have 9 and 16 20 fourths minus 4 and 21 20 fourths. We can't take 21 away from 16. So we're going to borrow from the 9 here and make it an 8 and 24 20 fourths. Now, some of you can do the addition of the 24 20 fourths plus 16 20 fourths in your head. You can go ahead and do that. You don't have to show this step here. So I'm just rewriting everything out here. Now we're going to add these two fractions together. So you have 8 and 40 fourths. Sorry, 40 20 fourths. Minus 4 and 21 20 fourths. So we're going to subtract the whole numbers. That's 4. 40 minus 21 is 19, and denominator stays the same. So 4 and 19 20 fourths. Let's try number 6. We have 4 and 3 fourths minus 1 and 9 tenths. So here the lowest common denominator is 20 -ths. So I'm going to multiply the 4 by 5 and the 3 by 5, and the 9 tenths by 2 over 2. So that gives us 4 and 15 twentieths minus 1 and 18 twentieths. So again, we can't do 15 minus 18. We're going to have to borrow. We're going to make that a 3 and 20 twentieths. I'm going to write it out on the side instead of writing the whole row again. And then 20 twentieths plus 15 twentieths is 35 twentieths. All right, we're going to subtract the whole numbers, which gives us 2. And we're going to subtract 
35 minus 18, which is 17. So we have 2 and 17 twentieths. All right, on to number 7 here. We have 12 and a quarter minus 5 and 3 tenths. So again, this will be tw um, 20ths. I'm going to multiply by 5 and by 2 over 2. So we have 12 and 5 twentieths minus 5 and 6 twentieths. All right, so we're going to make that 12 into 11 and 20 twentieths. And 20 twentieths plus 5 twentieths gives us 25 twentieths. 11 minus 5 gives us 6, and 25 minus 6 is 19. So 6 and 19 twentieths. Question number 8, 7 and 2 thirds minus 3 and 11 twelfths. Um, so I'm just going to convert the 2 thirds into twelfths. 3 times 4 and 2 times 4. So we have 7 and 8 twelfths minus 3 and 11 twelfths. We can't subtract 8 minus 11. I'm going to borrow here, make that 6 and 12 twelfths. So 12 twelfths plus 8 twelfths is 20 twelfths. So 6 and 20 twelfths minus 3 and 11 twelfths. 6 minus 3 is 3, and 20 minus 11 is 9. So 3 and 9 twelfths, we can reduce that to lowest terms. So I'm going to divide both numbers by 3. So that's 3 and 3 fourths. All right, question number 9. 8 and 3 fifths minus 7 and 7 tenths. I'm going to make the fifths into tenths, so we only have to convert the one fraction. So we have 8 and 6 tenths minus 7 and 7 tenths. Again, we have to borrow because we can't do 6 minus 7 for those numerators. We're going to do 7 and 10 tenths to replace that 8. So that's really 7 and 16 tenths minus 7 and 7 tenths. Well, our whole numbers... Uh, subtract to 0, so it's just 16 minus 7, which is 9 tenths. All right, so here we have a word problem. Abdul is making a snack mix for a family get-together that he's having. He mixes 3 and a half cups of pretzels, 4 and a quarter cups of peanuts, and 2 and 3 eighths cups of cheese puffs. He snacked on 1 and 3 fourths cups of it before the get-together. How many cups are there for the get-together? So we're going to go ahead and add the amount of pretzels, peanuts, and cheese puffs together. And then we have to take away how much he snacked on. So we have three and a half plus four and one fourth. And you can do these piece by piece plus the two and three eighths. I'm going to do all three fractions all together and find the common denominator. Looks like our common denominator is going to be eighths. So I'm going to multiply the half by 4 over 4, and the 1 fourths by 2 and 2. So that's going to give us 3 and 4 eighths, plus 4 and 2 eighths, plus 2 and 3 eighths. All right, I'm going to add the whole numbers together. 3 plus 4 plus 2 gives us 9, and our numerators 4 plus 2 plus 3 would be 9 as well. So we have 9 and 9 eighths. And I know we have to do some subtraction here, so I'm going to keep it in this form for now. We're not done with the problem. And it's possible we may have to borrow here. So we have the 9 and 9 eighths. And we want to subtract 1 and 3 fourths. 3 fourths. All right, so let's make the, these common denominators. I'm going to multiply the 3 fourths by 2 over 2. So we have 9 and 9 eighths minus 1 and 6 eighths. And we can go ahead and do that straight subtraction there. So 9 minus 1 gives us 8, and 9 minus 6 is 3. And there's no need to simplify any further. He's going to have 8 and 3 eighths cups of his mix for the get together. All right, if you have any questions, please ask during our meet. Have a great day. Bye bye.